we have to look at this and uh, take a lesson from it to see that there are human consequences and human tragedies involved in any sort of forced human displacement. This, in the next painting that we're going to see, clearly, as soon as I saw it, I thought of Botticelli's The Abyss of Hell. It's the same kind of movement and progress, now, and clearly you know, evocative of, of, of metaphysical suffering, you know, as well as just you know, civic suffering. The whole event of the Moriscos, as I said, was the single most intensely debated topic, civic topic, in 16th century Spain. I think the paintings you now deserve to be better known you now and deserve to be incorporated into the narrative of early modernity. The term early modern says it all. Um, it is a continuation of modernity. Um, it starts at this particular moment. Um, this phenomenon is very explicitly organized, uh, it's state sponsored, uh, and we see much of this type of conflict today. No, the continuity of it. I think the historical moments change, some of the motives do, but uh, generally I think they're focused on ethnicities and religion. No, and they are manifestations of xenophobia, no, both from within no, and from without no, the particular polity where these people inhabit or seek to inhabit. No. It's a cliche, but the past is prologue. No, we can learn a great deal from it. Now, uh, we also see the human consequences of all of this as we looked into the uh, background of the paintings as we examined them. Uh, we could see that there was a certain amount of resistance on the part of the painters who were commissioned you know, to portray this as an epic struggle you know, and as an epic deed of the Spanish state, but there was sympathy on a human level. You know? And I think that what these paintings do is recuperate now, that sensitivity and the sense of mercy and uh, misericordia was a term that I used at that particular moment, which must also be part and parcel of our evaluation and our perception of current events.